What's going on guys? Just wanted to make a super quick video. Most of my videos are like 10 plus minutes long. So I figured I'd try to make this one a little bit shorter than normal. Uh, I have moved some stuff around in the garage and I just wanted to do a little bit of an update and kind of like plans on what we're moving forward for the future. So uh, I took out the shelves that were here. We have replaced these with cabinets. And um, I mean, it's a mess right now, but the nice thing about having everything, yes, I got some snacks in there. Uh, the nice thing about having everything in a cabinet is the fact that it can be a mess and then I can just shut it and it looks really nice and nobody can tell that I have a mess behind here. So uh, this one is also a mess. You just move the gear wrench table. I did pick up a second one of these on Facebook Marketplace used. I love these gear wrench tables. I use them a ton. Um, not super exciting. This cabinet I picked up for free on Facebook Marketplace and it's just uh, holding a bunch of my oils and like the jack stands and all that fun stuff. And then just on top we have some crap and extra gas cans. Probably not the best place to store those. Um, but we are leaving them there for now. Jumper cables and some stuff hanging here. And then I did get a new 27 inch toolbox. So I have one more 44 inch coming that will fill in the space over here. The 44 that I had before is now bolted to my new 27. So this is holding all my electrical diagnostic and hardware kind of stuff. I have like all my scan tools, multimeters, battery tester, all the electrical pliers I use pretty often. And then when you move down, it's mostly just hardware. Uh, so these four drawers are hardware. This one I believe is, uh, oh, it's just holding this crap right now. And then uh, all the smoke machine leads or attachments and uh, test leads for my multimeter. I'm hoping to get this a little bit more organized with some more of these bins uh, pretty soon. And then coming down into here, uh, this is a little bit of a mess. I don't know if these are gonna live here forever, uh, but those are just some case kits that I have that I use for diagnostic stuff. I obviously have no room in here. Uh, I cleared off some room up on the top of the Omni wall, so that, uh, that might be where they're gonna live for a bit. And this 44 inch is kind of just holding some overflow sockets, wrenches, um, ratchets, etc. This wrench drawer is fairly filled. Uh, I have a little bit of an addiction with wrenches and sockets. So these aren't anything really nice, but these were the first ones that I kind of purchased and I didn't want to throw them out just in case I ever want to do some sketchy stuff. Uh, drill bits. I think this drawer is empty. All my extra pliers. Obviously that's moving around a little bit. And my air tools. And then I believe this is empty. This is just holding some jump boxes and lights. And then I have all my punches and chisels in here. I think this drawer is empty as well. Yeah, so most of these are kind of just empty sanding block. I have a lot of room to expand with this setup before anyone tells me, oh, you, you have so much room in all these toolboxes. A lot of these tools were inside of here. The reason that I was able to take them out and put them on top of here uh, and kind of fill up this pegboard is because I'm moving or I'm not moving, but I'm buying more pegboard to go across here and more top shelves. So a lot of my main use stuff, I've now kind of piled over here. This used to all be filling up the rest of the pegboard, all of these lights and gloves and all of this stuff. Now that I've cleared all of this stuff off of the pegboard, all of the crap that I use pretty much every day, uh, I've managed to clear out some space in the toolboxes. And obviously I did add a 27 inch, which has freed up a lot of space. Two of these drawers were hardware drawers before, which have now moved over. So 
I've cleared up a lot of space and uh, I'm super stoked because that means I'm gonna be able to buy some more tools pretty soon, which I did not have space for before. So happy about that. Uh, I do have some other plans. I added a couple small little holders and baskets in here and stuff. This is holding all my wire brushes. Uh, grinding wheels are up there. Air fittings, pens, expo markers, small um, screwdrivers, and then some air chisel uh, bits there. And then this stuff is all gonna eventually get moved uh, and the new 44 inch is gonna slot in here. Let me know what you guys have. So this was kind of my test um, for getting over the gap. It's not exactly what I'm looking for. I think I'm gonna use three quarter inch plywood for the base and then I'm gonna build a long wooden top for going across all of the workbenches. So it will make a nice long workbench, nice level spot. And then we're gonna mount that on there as well. Uh, we do have another, we do have plans to get another cobalt cabinet. So this will be out of here soon. I just wanna beat it up a little bit. We just got it. Uh, and the cobalts are actually pretty expensive. So I figured I'd get a little bit of use out of this thing before we just toss it. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much everything. Uh, nothing really new, I would say uh like tool wise but lots of new things coming in for the garage like omni wall uh we are planning on getting this and we have a new 44 coming in and then we're building the top and probably putting some led lights under here and stuff so that's all coming in the future so thanks for watching guys just a super quick update video and i wanted to show you guys my new toolbox uh, let me know what you guys think. I've been really liking these U.S. Generals so far. And, um, I mean, they're not meant to hold a ton of weight. It's not like you're going to put 500 pounds in every drawer. But uh, they're really good toolboxes for the money. I mean, you're this toolbox is $350. Like, you can't find a toolbox with that much storage for $350. I, I personally don't think. Um, so, even the drawers are, are good quality. Everything's good quality. It's it's gonna be the best box that you can get for the price point, in my opinion, and quickly. Some of these snap-on boxes takes months to come in. Uh, it's ridiculous. My, my top, I have a top ordered for this, like a bed liner top. That is been on order for about a month and maybe some change now, and I still believe I have four plus months to wait. So yeah, the money, for the money, this top, cost me about the price of this whole setup over here just so you get an idea of that when it does come in um and i mean this box if if i sold this box i could probably buy six of these setups so uh yeah that's just a little price comparison i mean you can do what you want with that but thanks so much for watching guys i will see you guys in the next video uh keeping it short this time take it easy guys see ya